I don't know how I can go from this update will save Ross Console to Ross Console has been dead for now over 24 hours. So let's start from the beginning because this has been the worst time to be a Ross Console player. I'm pretty sure everyone's going in on D11 and G Portal. So I just want to go from the start and then work our way up to where we are now because it is an absolute shit show. I've never seen this before, ever. Any game that I played, never seen it. So the 29th of November, Ross Console or D11 put out on their Discord saying, Hello everyone, important announcement, community service will be available to rent Thursday the 30th of November at 11am UK time. Now I did make a video saying, you know, these servers are a bit too cheap because so many people are going to be buying them, which makes the community so widespread. And I don't think there's enough in the community that are active that are going to be playing and, you know, popping off all these servers, which is still yet to be tested because none of the servers or pretty much next to no servers work. So they go on to say in order for you to join them as soon as possible, community servers, we will have to move the monthly wipe to around the same time that community servers come out. The reason being, we need update 1.84 for everyone to work smoothly. So tomorrow, November 30th, which was yesterday, the wipe will be at 10 a.m. UTC, which was 10 a.m. UK time, instead of the usual 6 p.m. UTC. Once the wipe is over, you can start enjoying community servers and the qual update. Something has never aged so bad in my life than that. Next month, we will go back to our usual wipe schedule. As for the skin store, the rotation will happen at 6 p.m. UTC 17 hours ago. Be sure to log in if you don't want to lose the drifter pack. Now we're going to go into what they're selling in terms of the pack. We're going to go all in on that because obviously I was shown some early gameplay, but I was out at the time, so I couldn't edit it up to be uploaded. So let's get this straight. 10 a.m. UK time yesterday, there was an update for Ross Console and everything basically wiped. It was, it was like it wiped at 10 a.m. really early because they wanted to get everything out in terms of updates before community servers were rolling, which was understandable. Good idea. And that worked smoothly. To my knowledge, I had to update my game like everybody else and everybody was laughing and then waiting for community servers. I was on standby because I had stuff to do later in the day for community servers to come out so I could purchase two, which was a PvP server and a two times official bi-weekly. So let's talk about the pricing problem that G Portal somehow messed up. Now, you're going to have to bear with me here because I've never seen anything like it. G Portal's pricing went up like 10x. It was insane what they were selling the servers for. And this was obviously a glitch. They didn't mean to do this. And yes, there were people that bought them for this price. So for one month, instead of £15, they were selling for £50 a month and then you can work that out for the 90 days and the 180 day plan like you're paying up to 260 pounds for 180 days for one of these servers when they were first selling it for 15 pounds for the month so that error occurred and a few people bought you know the servers for way more than they're worth so when the pricing was fixed it then just basically started saying everything was sold out. And I'm not going to lie, it's not the easiest website to navigate through. I thought I bought two of these servers, but instead I actually bought credit for the website to then pay for the servers. So already I lost a bit of time thinking I already bought two servers, but I should just put credit into my G Portal account. So then I had to pay for the two servers when they said they were sold out. So I didn't know what I was buying. I didn't know if I was buying absolutely nothing or I was actually buying the two servers that it seemed like I was promised on the website. And then everything just went tits up. Like at 11 a.m. the price glitch happened and then at 12 p.m. Uh, which was lunchtime for us for the UK. That's when everything kind of just went dead. You were able to buy them, but it just went dead. There was no real updates. And then the worst happened. These serv some of the servers were actually working and they had a hundred plus players waiting in the queue. And then it wiped. You heard that right. It, it, it wiped. So 10 a.m. They wiped the game for the update for the quality of life, which everything, everything went fine as standard what happened was is that they then added the skins in and in turn that acted as a wipe a soft wipe for all the servers so all of the progress you made in those community servers in the official servers was just wiped out and you're never going to see that again you basically wasted 
six or however many hours you are playing for it was quite a lot it was five to eight hours i was being told and d11 came out and said the team is investigating an issue to do with the high amount of connections to the game we will keep you updated on when this issue is resolved but for now it's not advised to try and connect to the game as this causes the service to slow its response time now one thing we did get told by g portal and d11 was that they did not realize the demand for community servers now i don't know if it's just me i might be you know shooting in the dark right now but i've made countless videos on tiktok on youtube talking about how much in demand community servers is it is the thing alongside minis and alongside anything else that's come to the game community servers is right at the top as the most asked for feature within this game because it totally changes the experience it makes it replayable and doesn't make it boring and you're telling me g portal and d11 didn't realize that there was going to be this much of a demand like i i can't help but feel like that's a load of ball and obviously i could easily be wrong but the fact that i as a player knew that you know there was going to be such high demand which i said in my last video so many people are going to be buying servers is it really worth it being 15 pounds because that seems too cheap and whilst people did misconstrued my kind of point there it was not to do with if you're not a content creator you shouldn't be buying them it's just that is the community active enough and big enough for everyone to buy these and for those servers to thrive and my opinion is no and so from when that wiped all community servers were unplayable all community servers were pretty much wiped seeing qr1 was wiped we've only seen it once on the community tab and it is now 11 a.m that i'm recording this audio recording in uk time it has been a full 24 hours and still not been able to play our own community server we got the discord ready we advertised it with posters we advertised it even with a fucking trailer that no one else has done for their community service we've got everything ready for this for it to just be absolutely thrown down the drain and you know we we say in our kind of team you know surprise surprise because we've had letdowns from d11 in the past but this this takes the cake not able to play your own server for 24 hours we weren't even able to purchase our server at 11 a.m when they, we were told that's when you're going to be able to run it we had to wait an extra hour for that and then servers wiped when people were playing on them and then it's just been cut loose there's no community servers that you're able to play for the last how many hours it is but it's insane and again th that was my point as to i think they should have made community servers more expensive because the people that are really going to invest money that really want to see a thriving community server will invest that money but now you're just getting you know there's going to be kids that are just buying a community server for the sake of it and whilst they're well within that right it's not going to be a thriving one. They could admin abuse. I hope you understand where I'm coming from in that sense. You know, it, it just feels like it's way too accessible to buy a community server. And so far, basically, the only updates that we've had from today from G Portal is that you press X, not X, you press Y or triangle if you're PlayStation or Xbox on the community tab if your server hasn't come up if you search for it it could come up ours still doesn't we've reported to d11 and so far 24 hours have gone by and our community server hasn't gone up but there are some you know you'll see in the background there's some really freaking random ones and you know we've put all this time and effort into ours for it to not be on the list and what i'm hoping doesn't happen is that you're able to play a lot of these servers and then the ones that are you know still not on the community tab have just been left there for a bit which makes it a disadvantage for us because we're not going to have enough players playing our server because they're already invested in other servers if they're going to do this right you've got to send all the community servers and publish them publicly at the same time you can't just put a few out and then say you can play these for now we're still trying to get the other servers live it's just not fair and i haven't even mentioned the skins yeah i haven't even mentioned the skin so as you can see, we've got the Drifter Hazmat Bundle, six items, save 30%, which is 2,500 RC, which is just over 15 pounds, which in my opinion, not worth it. But if you're a fan of skins, you're going to be a fan of that one for sure. And next to it is a luxurious Arsenal. Now, I thought this was going to be the solid gold AK that would be coming for the 185,000 thank you followers on Twitter by D11. However, it's not. And they made this price point at 1,900 RC, 
which is about 10 pounds, maybe more. Then you've got the Rainbow Unicorn, but no one really cares about that, do they? And if you scroll down, you can then see the Drifter Hazmat Skin Pack items. So we've got the MP5, we've got the AK. These are priced at 525 RC. Then you've got tools. Then you've got the Hazmat Skin by itself, which is 1,100 RC. And then next to it, you have the Assault Rifle, or the AK, the LR Sar, Bolt, Tommy, and MP5 from the kind of gold, luxurious Arsenal pack and then this photo supplied by Ross console skin on tiktok this is the solid gold ak that they're going to be given away when they reach 185,000 followers how many they're on now i think they're pretty close to it they are on right now 184,000. so they're probably gonna you know put that skin out there for everyone in the next week or so and that rounds off the biggest ramp video you're gonna ever see me do i've never seen anything like it with ross console sometimes i get surprised by d11 but this takes the cake they've pretty much made me a birthday cake and then given me the empty plate that it goes on that's how i feel right now been promised something and then it just doesn't happen am i surprised at this point i mean th this nothing else can surprise me anymore with this game and uh and g portal for some reason apparently g portal had 10,000 servers available and they said that it you know the demand for it won't be the problem and it, it seems exactly that the demand is the problem but that that's what we've got that's the latest updates on everything follow my socials in the description as well as the cnqr warfare discord you can go in there talk to us and have a bit of fun in these dark dark times of rust console that you cannot play subscribe if you know around here thank you for all the recent support as always and i'll see you in the next one. Oh dearie me i hate this game